And we're back with some more RimWorld. And today we're going to be getting a few things out of the way with. Namely, we're going to start excavating even more. But before we can get too far into that, we're also going to have to hire even more. It seems there is no end to the duplicates that keep on coming. Now let's see, we've got a yokel pacifist, diver's lungs. How can we turn that down, considering how much oxygen we're going to be consuming later? Please welcome Math Kiernan. Uh, duplicate number 31 and duplicate and patron number 31. They sure are going to be a dedicated digger. But that also means we're going to have to go down here and do some more excavation. We've got to dig this out and I want to mix the waters, these two waters together, so that this does not scald our duplicates when we go in there. At the same time, we're going to excavate a little bit of space here so that we can let this leaky oil fissure pop out. We would like to get our hands on some oil and if we can do that without scalding anyone, uh, that might be a handy, a handy little side trip. We've managed to dig ourselves a nice little water pit. We're going to end up with a lot of mixed salt water and polluted water, but we don't care. We just want to take the temperature of this water down to something that our dupes can get it, can handle. Otherwise, we can't get through this area. Uh, the duplicates seem to be doing a good job down here. We've got quite a bit of excavation done, though. We've got a little bit of heat stroke going on, and we've also got more duplicate choices to choose from. Well, we sure as hell are not picking anemic. Never. I have I've just sworn never getting anemic. I think I'd pick flatulent over anemic at this point. That leaves us with a couple of narcoleptics, and I'm thinking eh, operating, decorating, and digging. We can manage all of those. So say hello to duplicate patron number 32, Michael D. Chavez. They will become our next mechatronics engineer. I think we've got two or three of those already in stock. While all of this excavation is going on, we're collecting a little bit of oil over here. The reason you want to collect this is hopefully we can get just enough oil to get ourselves a bit of plastic to do some steam turbines and a bit of heat deletion. And we're dumping all the heat into this salt biome. It won't be a lot of heat. There's uh, only a small amount of oil coming out of here, though it is very, very hot. Uh, let's just finish this up and hopefully we can get a glimpse of the oil biome. I've been trying to find the oil biome for a while, it just seems we can't get down far enough. Done. We've got that pool all the way down to the bottom. That means... Wait, who made a mess? Who made a mess? Why would you make a mess? My bathrooms have backed up, haven't they? Ah, damn it. Okay. Priority nine. Let's get ourselves our bathrooms working again. I think we're going to have more than that mess to contend with. That's just the first one. The first of what will probably be many. Ooh, we just escaped that. I think we only had two accidents and that was it. Now the bathrooms are going to be full for a while. Yeah, I'm going to forget about that again. I could set up some automation, but nope, nope, we're not going to worry about it. We are going to finish off this water tank. This needs to be completed so that we can get on with the game. That will get rid of all of that slime out of there. Then we can... Oh, yes, there is another vent down here. There's something down there, and we're going to go have a look. Of course, we have to go through another slime biome, but that's just pretty much par for the course at this point. There goes all that polluted water, and... Oh, there's another print available. Excellent. Let's see what we're dealing with. Ooh, mouth breather. No, thank you. Narcoleptic and anemic with irritable bowel. Well, that really simplifies things. Say hello to Julian TM. Oh, wow, it actually did do the TMs when I copy-pasted it. That's... Oh, I did not realize you could do that with the text in this game. Oh, wonderful. Uh, well, Julian will be our third... 33rd? Yes, duplicate slash patron. Oh, wow. We have went through, let's see, about eight tons of algae since this uh, game has started, since we started this episode. We are going through our resources at an enormous rate. We've got to get an electrolyzer up soon enough, but I also need some heat deletion for it. You know what? Panic later. Panic later. Just finish this up first. I just noticed there's a fish just living inside the falling water. That's actually pretty awesome. I'd forgotten how some of the fun mechanics. That means it could probably swim all the way up and down, this giant bugger. Hmm. Interesting. No, not going to worry about that. Uh, for the time being, yes, we still need to excavate some more. I think I'm going to keep that coal biome probably for an oxygen. Pump oxygen through there to cool it down at the start. We could probably get away with doing that. But I would first like to get rid of this salt biome that's in the way. Any water from there should just flow down. It should... Oop, oop. Yeah, it, it's doing the nighttime save. That was a little bit of a chug. With that gone, it reveals something else that's kind of nice for us. There's another cool steam vent down here. That means more water. Yes. Okay, so we've got three cool steam vents and one saltwater geyser. It's not going to be enough water, of course, but let's be fair, we were probably never going to get enough. However, it's right below an ice biome, which it's currently melting, and that melting is causing all of that water to condense. This is, this is going to be self-tamed for a while. We don't even have to build anything to help with that. That's really useful. Uh, at the same time over here, I am going to move our power plant so we can extend down our mushroom farms. Yeah, we need more mushrooms, I think. I sort of want to stockpile an awful, awful lot of food. And over here, when it comes to the ranches, I decided instead of uh, evolving our hatches just now, what we're going to do is we are going to fill all of our ranches as quickly as possible. So all of these hatches are going to stay over here until they turn into adults, then they'll get wrangled up and brought back over to this section. We should hopefully be able to fill this really quickly. Downsides of doing this, though, are... 
well, in about 100 cycles, all of our hatches are going to age out and die all at the same time, and we're going to end up very sparse on population. But, you know, if we're still alive in 100 cycles, I'll call that a win either way. Anyway, let's uh, move our power plants down here so that we have more space for our mushroom farms. By installing this, we'll free up all this space over here, and we can stick in an extra one, two, three, four, five, hmm, maybe six mushroom farms. Though, yeah, we should probably tap into that natural gas, though I'm, I don't think we need it just yet. We've got so much coal. Uh, how much coal do we have? 166 tons. Well, with the hatches coming online as well, which we'll only be able to keep for a short period of time. These things are going to eat into our uh, processing power and are going to slow down the game an awful lot. So I think we want to ranch these as quickly as we can and then get away from them the moment it gets into the later game. Oh, uh, another wonderful thing that happened along the way is I checked this liquid tank here. This liquid tank is the one for... Oh, what happened? Oh, new printables. But uh, this liquid tank is what holds our, our clean water after it's been filtered. However, the germs in it have been dying off. This one is now completely clean. There's no germs left in it. So we are just going to dump that five tons of water back into our clean water tank. We didn't even need chlorine to de decontaminate it. Just give it enough time, it seems. Yeah, let's see what we've got on uh, the duplicate front. I am trying to avoid allergies, so no. Squeamish and gastrophobic, I'm okay with. No taste in grease monkey. No taste I'd prefer. It gives it a bit of a morale bonus for just having normal food senses. But, ooh. Creativity, well, not really that important, but an operator builder suit wear? Oh, that's a mechatronic engineer if ever I saw one. Say hello to Landon.Packrat. So Landon Packrat? Th that is Packrat, right? Uh, okay, you know what? Never mind. I I'm sorry. I've probably mispronounced that, but uh, we're going to call that duplicate slash patron number 34. Ooh, one thing to note as well. All of our schedules now have three duplicates on them. Well, by the very top one, which we're trying to move people out of. So, yes, uh, we're about to hit four duplicates per schedule, or it's getting close to that point. Once we've got to four duplicates on each schedule, we'll have to start installing more bathrooms, otherwise we're going to run into problems. Wonderful. Just one uh, Why is there no power there? Why is there no power? What happened to the power? Who broke the power? Oh, yeah, that got disconnected. Don't worry, that will be fixed momentarily. Uh, yes, once we break, break this open down here, we should be able to get all of that delicious carbon dioxide to flow down in here, and this will be our CO2 pit for a while. Uh, a little bit of moving here and there, a little bit of digging, a little bit of constructing, and we finally, finally managed to get most of the mushroom farms in. Uh, it's just there's that countdown timer of knowing that there's another duplicate coming along anytime soon that really gives a sense of urgency to this playthrough. Once we get a little bit more CO2 in there, I think that will take care of our food needs for a while. What are we up to? We're almost up to a million calories, but... Mm, 200,000 of that is in pickled meal, 640,000 calories in fried mushroom. I I think we need to stockpile a whole lot more fried mushrooms. Uh, let me double check on this. Did, I think we had an, uh, an accident earlier with the toilet. I just want to make sure no polluted water got anywhere near our food supplies. That could be detrimental. Also, this water tank is now empty. You can see here, this one here, this one's still full. You can see the germs in it are going down. Once the tank is full and no more germs can enter, eventually all the germs just die off. The ones that are still filling up, yeah, they're, they're chock full of them, but clean water does kill off germs. It just takes a really long time. Now, I think we will just bring that one back into the fold so it can start stockpiling water. I wonder if we have enough tanks. Could we just do this indefinitely? No, no, that'd be too much micromanagement. Okay, all of that done. Uh... Yeah, I just got to get some carbon dioxide in there, though. I think we'll have to wait for that cloud to settle down a bit. I think our next step is to put in an oxygen production facility. So I'm thinking, well, up here. I've been looking up here, and you'll notice there's these two gas vents. That means there is an anti-entropy nullifier right there, and there's another one over there. We can get a little bit of cooling. It won't be great, but I think we can live with it. Now, let's see. Where am I going to put our ladder system? We can stick our ladder system right up the side here. Unfortunately, it's going to intersect with this neural vacillator, and we do have the point of interest mod installed so that you can deconstruct these if you want, just to... It's handy to be able to deconstruct things like, say, these lockers so that they don't get in the way of your buildings. However, we would like to use this first, but who gets to use the neural vacillator? I think we should leave that up to chance. Here's a quick random named picker. Let's just shuffle this up and give it a quick spin and see who gets to go on the vacillator. This is like spin that vacillator only in reverse or spinning to see who gets to go on it. And the winner will be... <laughs> Julian... Julian Trademark, the, the very first person. I think that was our last hire, was it not? Here comes Julian now. Let's see what kind of skills they get out of this. Hopefully it's oxygen. Uh, let's see, are you done? Yep, complete neural process. Hey, I said complete. And we've got deeper divers lung. Okay, that was exactly what I was hoping for. So, yep, not, not going to feel at all bad about that. Right, we can delete that one as well. We do have another... Um, 
neural vacillator somewhere around here. I think it's over this side. Yeah, there's another neural vacillator over here, so it doesn't matter if we deconstruct this one. We might as well free up this space. Actually, you know what? Nah, we can leave it. It's, it's not actually that much in the way. Yeah, once we uh, dig up here, we should have access to this ice biome. I want to see where we're going to put our electrolyzer setup. We, we need to get one up and running. We have we have over 34 duplicates, so a full Rodriguez is not actually going to cut it just yet. Before we can finish this, though, we've got more duplicates, of course. This will be 35, and we've got a bottomless stomach, which I would prefer to avoid. Allergies and loud sleepers, a double no-no. That leaves us with a triophobic, squeamish, no-taste, plus seven agriculture farmer. Um... Say hello to Christopher Berkman's new far the farmer. Uh, apologies, not, not not the best duplicate for some of the choices, but you'll make a wonderful farmer. Which is good, because we're going to be farming an awful lot more mushrooms just now. Alright, uh, oh, what are those fish still doing there? I think those fish are here from the pool of water that we destroyed. That must mean my time is... I keep forgetting how little time has passed between all that we've done. Um, yeah, we're only on cycle 96, and we've done quite a number on this map so far. We haven't quite got all the way from space down to the oil biome yet, but we're getting there. So we're not even at the space biome yet, which is, is kind of confusing. <laughs> We've got up quite a... wait, there's the gateway there, and we're still not at space, and down here we can just about see the oil biome. The oil biome is right there. Hmm. I'm curious, because I was thinking about stacking a, a, our electrolyzers on top of this and then running them through the ice biome, but dear lord, there's no space in that ice biome, which is a good complaint. Change in plan. There is no way we are going to be able to get to build the uh, electrolyzers above this. I can see the vacuum of space. If we build the electrolyzers up here, we just won't have enough space. Plus, we're going to be pumping water for miles. It's just not worth it. We're going to build the electrolyzers down here and have the, the gas come up through this area to try and cool it down. That's pretty much the best I've been able to come up with. So let's strip mine out this area and get it ready. This is slow going up this far away from base. And of course, because it's taking us so long, we have more duplicates to choose from. All of these are actually great. We've got a pacifist, unconstructive, and gastrophobic. Unconstructive, eh, not a big deal at this point considering how many constructors we have. Then they've all got pretty decent stats, but I'm thinking construction, excavation, you know, that's another perfect builder right there. The faster we can build, the faster we can hopefully build ourselves out of this hole. So say hello to James Pickering. Uh, our 36th duplicate and patron. Oh man, uh, skill point turn, one second. This mess of gas piping is what we're going to use to do some cooling. I should probably throw in some temperature shift plates as well, just to make sure. Though, I am feeling like I'm in, in a rush, though, what's our algae like? We have gone down from about 100 tons of algae at the start of this to 87. But we did mine a bunch along the way. I, I don't know. We're going through it at a, st a, a stupid rate. We could work it out with the maths, but I'm not going to bother. It would just probably depress me. Uh, we're going to throw in some granite temperature shift plates here. Uh, reason being, they'll just help get rid of the te spread the temperature around. So we'll stick in a few. You know what? Everywhere is fine. This is going to become a, a little bit warm in here as we start pumping through oxygen, and we're going to want to drain as much of the heat out of the surrounding environment as we possibly can. The almost finished product. I've made all the radiant gas pipes out of copper ore. It's the best of the basic materials you have for building these at the moment. We could of course use wolframite, but I'm not willing to demolish the entire coal biomes to get some. Namely because we want to keep those coal biomes around to keep as much of the temperature around as possible. Now there's six layers of gas piping through here, so we can hook up two Rodriguez's to this. Though we're only going to hook up one to begin with. Actually, wait a minute, we might as well do two now, right? I mean, if you're going to go big, you might as well go big on a 141 playthrough. Yeah, anyway, we'll finish this off, and then we'll get started on our Rodriguez down here. That's that all completed. Well, close enough. There's a few little pieces that need to go in here, but now let's get sticking in our, our electrolyzers. We're going to want to put them over here, and we're, we'll uh, run the oxygen pipes through there. We'll run, put the electrolyzers right here. And before we can finish that, of course, the clock strikes three, and it's time for another duplicate. <laughs> what have we got here? Mouth breather. No, thank you. A pacifist narcoleptic. You know, we can live with that. Uh, sorry, there's... Dear Schweitzer? Wait, Schweitzer. Schweitzer? Um, Schweitzer. N never mind, never mind. We, we, you, iron gut, uncultured, athletics and strength. I think you will be going into carrying. All right, let's finish this. Let's finish off this uh, electrolyzer. Dear Lord, I'd forgotten how long it takes to build one of these, even with an enormous crew to go with it. We have 37 duplicates, and quite a lot of them are build diggers. Uh, it's just, it's the distance we are from our base as well. We have to go a long way. Also, yeah, this is going to be our water supply. We're going to have to run a pipe a long, long, long distance. <laughs> Unless we want to find an alternative power supply somewhere near, or water source somewhere nearby, which, unlikely. 
Now I'm doing a few things here in the background. One is this radiant gas pipe. This uh, hydrogen up here is going to come out at about 70C, minimum 70 to 90C. Then we're going to send it through here and it's going to radiate all the way through here, soaking up any heat from the large power transformers, the batteries, that type of thing. And then it will be consumed by the hydrogen generators and despite all the laws of physics, the heat will be destroyed. So this should mean we never have to do any cooling for this and it's all self-managed. And uh, though when this first starts up, it's going to have a sputter out a whole bunch of random gases so maybe let's uh, dump that all into a liquid a gas tank somewhere wow look at them cook four cooks going away at it we're gonna have a nice stockpile of food at the end of this well hopefully a good stockpile of food to keep us going i think yep that harvest just came in of the the new batch of mushrooms that's why everyone's going a bit crazy on the cooking uh, let's finish this up though we need oxygen desperately algae We've burned through at least 20 tons of the stuff, and that's not counting the stuff we already mined. That's the guts of it down. That's going to pump out 3 kilos of oxygen, well, 2.975 something kilos of oxygen per second. Uh, the hydrogen is going to get sent over here to power it. The excess hydrogen we're going to have go up here and go into our uh, anti entropy nullifiers. The excess excess hydrogen is going to get bled off somewhere else, but that will be a while. And then to bootstrap the whole thing, we've got this little coal array over here. That should provide enough power to get it started. Now, now we got to bring in water. Now for the water, I've got two options. One is radiant piping, which will go through here and help cool down the whole area before getting dumped into the electrolyzers. And then non-radiant piping, which if the water's too hot, we'll just dump it in that way. I just wanted to give myself options. For now though, we do actually have water that's colder than the auction is going to be coming out. The auction is going to come out at 70C. So let's go get ourselves some water from down below and pump it in there through the radiant piping. So this will be our liquid pipe. This is the liquid pipe that is going to be bringing all that water from down the bottom of the map. And we want it to skirt a good distance away from our mushrooms, because you don't want to stifle them, and it goes all the way down to here. I have got this polluted water layer on top and the salt water on the bottom, and hopefully this salt water will just keep popping down the bottom and the hot water will be at the bottom. We want to sort of extract the hot water as much as possible. Just for now, anyway. And, oh wow, I left a whole bunch of polluted oxygen down there. Yeah, that's much better. That should work out just fine. Get rid of a lot of it. Yeah, but with that all done, the next step we have to do, well, not quite done, with that building, we also have to run the gas pipes back down again. Oh, and uh, we're sealing this up. I figured this is going to start melting, and as it does, it will sort of flood into this tank, which is... Oh, I made that out of sandstone. You know what? I might want to double layer that, otherwise that will break. Hmm. No, in a minute, in a minute. Uh, gas piping. Yes, we want to grab ourselves some gas piping. We'll just go with regular stuff. We'll grab ourselves some ignis, and we're going to want to run it all the way back down into the base. So, yeah, this is going to be a long journey. All the way down. <laughs> And then we repeat that process. Who would have thought that building something this large would take so long? We have uh, we have managed to end up with another duplicate to choose from while we are waiting. Uh, yes, it's just the way it's going to go. Uh, okay, we've got pacifist, biohazardous, yokel, and irritable bowel. Would prefer one of these two. Ooh, plus seven, animal husbandry. Yep, we got to take it. We're going to need ranchers. Ranchers are going to be our food source. So say hello to duplicate patron number 38, Stephen Taylor. Okay, there's another one for the team. All right, let me finish this off. To finish this off and bring it into the base, I may need to do just a little bit of sweeping. So we're going to put up some temporary storage containers and just sweep all this junk into nearby storage bins, just so that we can replace the roof here without dumping a bunch of negative decor. I mean, it's not the biggest deal in the world, but I'd also like to keep all that heat out as well. There is an army of dupes just wandering around taking care of all of our problems. It's wonderful. Uh, they'll uh, fix that up, and then we're going to run all of these gas pipes right into the center of the base. I think the water is done, is it? Where's your water? Yep, the water is all finished and filtered and going up. What I've done here is I've set up a desalinator and a water sieve, just so if we get salt water or polluted water, it makes no difference, it will get filtered through there. Now that only that limits us to a little bit under 5 kilos, but we we'll, should only be able to burn off 4 with this setup to start. We may need to expand upon that a little bit later. Yeah, let's, uh, let's get our gas piping in. There we go, that will be the start of our ventilation system. <laughs> We're probably going to have to expand on that a lot as it gets bigger and bigger and more and more duplicates come along. But I think that's just about ready to be switched on now. Is it? Yes, it is. We've got power going to here. These are all set up. Oh, we might want to ventilate these out first. You know what? Let's uh, let's empty this whole system and vacuum it out. Actually, wait, never mind. It's only got a little bit of carbon dioxide in there. We don't really care too much. Settings configured. 450 Above 450 for the bottom two. Above 250 for the top one. There's a whole tutorial on this thing. And I think... That's it. Let's just hook up the water here as well, and we should be good to go. You go to there, cancel anything that overwrote, and bingo. Well, very slowly bingo. 
this is our uh, exit pipe. This is where we dump all of this hydrogen mix that we're going to get at the start. Once this becomes pure hydrogen at the top, we should be good. Now, this always comes up, the gases won't equalize for you. Well, if that's the case, you need to run it flat out, as in you need to make sure this thing, the hydrogen is hooked up to one of these, and you need to make sure your oxygen is never going to back up. Normally I would hook my oxygen up to backup tanks, but considering the sheer length of piping we have to go through and... Oh my god, I wired up the wrong ones. <laughs> um, oops, I suppose. Uh, let me do a little bit of rejigging here. We made a few changes. We used this snipping tool. We're missing... Actually, that should be a high priority. We'll have to put in some bridges and things. And this is probably going to be a little bit messier longer than I would like. But I think this is going to work out. All right, the electrolyzer has stabilized. How's that looking? You know what? In that case, we can cut that off there. We don't need this anymore. That should mean all the hydrogen can start flowing in there and powering up the hydrogen generators. And the oxygen is flowing. Yes. I have put in lots of overflows here, so if it ever backs up, it should start oxygenating this area. So if it oxygenates the base, it will back up even further. Nice. All right. Now, how cold is it coming out, though? That's the question. Oh, yeah. It, it It's super chill. That won't last forever, though. The chill in the ice biome will eventually go away, and that will start melting, and there will be problems. But for now, we've got ourselves some chill oxygen to dump into our base. Oh, well, when it eventually gets there. There we go. Once this is flowing fully, we'll maybe... Oh, we can't decommission all the oxygen diffusers. The reason being, those oxygen diffusers are probably the only thing keeping us going at the moment. Mm. No, next up we need to put in a second uh, a Rodriguez and hook that up to the plumbing. Though I want to get the gas piping sorted before we do that. Oh, wait, no. First things first. Let's see how this is going over here. Once this backs up with hydrogen, we can disconnect this from the, the backup coal or the Kickstarter coal generator. And then we can just seal that off and then no more heat will escape out of there because that's going to get really toasty really quickly. Uh, let's get started on the next Rodriguez. That should get us up to this building to being able to support 60 more dupes, which means, you know, what, 22 more dupes, which is 60, well, 66 cycles. Hmm. Excellent. 66 cycles. This will buy us, all of this effort will buy us 66 more cycles of oxygen. <laughs> uh, assuming we can keep it full of water. Uh, while that is going on, we'll actually have to go down to the water section down the bottom of the map. Excuse the pan and zoom. This can only process about four, and, well, it can process five kilos of salt water, but it only emits 4.6 kilos. Oh, no power as well. I'm going to have to increase this and get a second desalinator in here so we can provide enough water. Uh, also a second water sieve. There we go. We'll just stick a desalinator above the desalinator and a water sieve above the water sieve. That will take us up to 10 kilos and more printables. Yay! This is actually really easy. <laughs> the reason being, well, Yokel and Nighthall is fine, but Diver's Lungs. Diver's Lungs, we don't care. We gotta take it. Uh, they're in construction, so they'll be our builder. So say hello to duplicant number 39 slash patron. And it's very easy to pronounce their name because it's Gen I. <laughs> oh, damn it. It's cut off the last of it. It's Gen I Mort. Uh, one second. Very, very thoughtful of them to include the pronunciation. Uh, well, uh, well, well, Gen I, you're going to be a construction duplicate. Perfection. Now we have 10 kilos of water coming out per second. Well, close enough, about 9.3. 9.3 will be more than enough to run to Rodriguez's. Assuming we don't run out of water down here. I've also got a gas pump down here extracting some of this nasty carbon dioxide and chlorine just so we've got a bit more space to work with. Though I am going to have to deal with them at some point. They are just going to keep collecting. I think I've got a few more. Where is it? Eh, where, yeah, a bunch over here as well. And I think, oh, we can pop that one later. That one's not... You know what? We will pop that one now. We gotta, we're going to be activating another electrolyzer soon. Oh, hydrogen. The hydrogen has backed up to... Okay, it started into the anti vanilla fires, but we need to find a backup for that. Uh, as in, if this keeps backing up along the line, it'll jam the whole system. So we need to find some way to burn that off. We need to burn off our hydrogen, so we're going to need a hydrogen power generation facility. Right about here, I'm thinking. Uh, this is going to be a... This is going to be bad. The reason being... This hydrogen is really far away from our core base, so we can't really use it to power our core base, which would have been nice. And I'm not I'm not going to be pumping 50 to 70 degree hydrogen through my base. That is just not something that I am comfortable doing. So instead, we'll just dump it into these gas tanks and then dump it into a few of these hydrogen generators who are going to provide a little bit of power to the local neighborhood. We'll probably upgrade the wires and everything later, but for now, it's going to end up powering the, the local oxygenation facilities, and these are going to get transferred over to doing metal refinement. 
But first, let's get it built. Done. That should prevent that from ever overflowing. Uh, the reason being, we've got a little bit of automation in here. It's hooked up to this gas reservoir. If the gas reservoir hits 100% as in it fills up, it will activate all of the hydrogen generators and keep burning off the hydrogen until it goes down to 95%. That way we should have a couple of tanks of hydrogen in storage if we ever need them for anything. You never know when you're going to need a bit of hydrogen. At the same time, we have now started running the next set of gas lines that are going to go down to the base. Though how we are going to spread them out around the base is a bit of a problem. Reason being, I haven't bothered ripping out the floors yet. I usually leave in the floors for a long period of time so that, well, we can clean it all up. But I think we've run out of time. It is time to clean them all up. So we are going to replace everything with granite tiles. This may take a couple of minutes to do. But on the bright side, we have a very large and very motivated workforce. 39 duplicates by cycle 110. I think, I, I think we'll get this all knocked out in a cycle or two. Probably not, though, before we have to hire another duplicate. Oh, I made a mistake. I replaced all the flooring, including the flooring under the gateway, and that reset the gateway timer. Um, oops. Uh, yeah, so we're going to be a little bit behind schedule. But that's fine, that's fine. We can probably find a way to replace that duplicate to get lost, or, I don't know, speed up the clock. I'll figure something out. We'll have, I'll have a look through the mods. There might be some way to uh, make up for that lost duplicate. Uh, at the same time, where we're, ah, yes, we're still finishing off all the piping. Soon we can we can hook up the second electrolyzer and hopefully get even more oxygen pumping. Though what was it? Let's let's have a check see how the oxygen's coming. Out. It's still minus seven, minus nine, minus ten. Yeah, that oxygen that that ice biome is going to serve us quite well for quite a while. Uh, let me uh, let me finish off down here and then we can hook that up. Well, the left side I've moved all the oxygen from the first Rodriguez over to the left side of the base, and all the oxygen from the second Rodriguez is going to go to the right side of the base. That's Maybe not the best way to do things, but it is simplistic, and it's easy for me to wrap my brain around. Alright, this one is just about ready to fire up, I think. First things first, we connect it up to the main grid, well, the boot bootstrapper, and then once that's connected up, we need to connect up the water, that was it. Uh, water goes in there. Oh, settings. Uh, 450 for the ones... On wait, why are you at that? Oh, never mind. You're 450 for the bottom ones, uh, 250 for the top one, right? Battery set. Yep, yeah, perfect. Okay, gas is pumping. That'll be fine. And have we good looking? Okay, there's a little bit of polluted oxygen in there. Not going to worry. All of our water is in. And why is that? Oh, yeah, that actually drained out all the water. No, that's fine. That's fine. That will catch back up. Oh, that is a lot of oxygen. Mmm, tasty. That is definitely going to melt the ice biome in time, but we have a rather large ice biome to work with, so that should buy us a lot of leeway until we get our hands on steel. That will be the next up, actually. We'll be getting steel. And maybe demolishing a few extra biomes along the way. Let's just skip this forward a bit until this uh, gets oxygen gets all the way to the base and make sure it's flowing correctly. Uh, looks like it's flowing just about right. We'll take a time, to, time for it to saturate everywhere, but I'm thinking our base is now well pressurized with oxygen. Yep, yep, that looks just about right. So I might want to get some more oxygen over here to the uh, ranches and... Oh, wow, I have duplicates idle. How do I have duplicates idle? We need to do a major sweep, don't we? Right, just let me double check a few things first. Mistakes were made. Namely, I forgot to put an overflow for the hydrogen. That hydrogen is going to back up unless I break back in there and fix it. So a uh, quick fix job is on the menu. It got messy, some generators were hurt, but we managed to clean fix it. That was an annoyance. Though we do have glorious amounts of oxygen coming down. This is starting off very cold, and it sort of war chills down the area as it passes through. We're going to actually cool down this entire area. This used to be where the steam, uh, the cool steam vent was. So it'll help cool down that whole area and help cool down this living area up here. We might even get that cold enough to grow mushrooms if we wanted. Though we, we probably won't. However, it is time for our next duplicate. A little bit delayed. I think two cycles too late. Another diver's lung. We sort of have to take it. Oxygen's going to be our big killer. So say hello to duplicate number 40, Ortec. Uh, Patreon 40. Uh, I think that's Ortec, or is it Rekt? Rekt? Ortec? Rekt? Uh, you know what? I can't tell. Uh, I tried looking up a pronunciation for it, but it turns out it's it's not a real name. Yeah, I don't know what you're doing there. Anyway, that will be a mechatronics engineer for sure. And we're going to cut that out there today. We have done really, really well, I think. We've got 60 kilos of oxygen pouring into the base. I've disabled most of the um, oxygen diffusers, the ones that run on algae. In fact, I've disabled as many as I could find. I'm sure there's one or two I've missed because we just spammed them everywhere as we were going along. Our ranches are actually getting up and running pretty well. We've got eight, 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 
seven, and then the bottom ones are only got one apiece, I think, or two in the bottom one. So we've almost filled up all the ranches. Our coal is gone through the roof. We've got 240 tons of this stuff, and it's only going to keep getting better. Uh, oh, at the same time, let's have a quick look at colony summary. That was it. I wanted to have a look at the graphs, just to see what was going on. Uh, one second. All right, graphing. Uh, we're going to see average power produced. Yeah, that kind of took a bit of a spike there the moment we started kicking in the oxygen production. Calorie generation. Yeah, that's it's pretty spammy. It goes up and down because of the way the mushrooms go. Total oxygen produced. Well, that seems very reasonable. Cycles. What? The total oxygen consumed. Also been going up. Average power wasted. Ah, duplicates. This is the one. Duplicates per cycle. Yep, that's that's pretty perfect. Though there's a small little plateau there at the top because we mm, that two cycles we missed. I need to find a mod or something that allows me to dump in a duplicate if, after two cycles. Uh, then there's total travel time. Yeah, that's getting worse and worse. And we'll, well, it's kind of plateaued now. Total work time. I think that's all been going quite well. Oh, domesticated critters has just wow. Okay, we're at a hundred and something domesticated critters. That's good. That's good. Once those critters start, to, once we max out the critters, we'll actually start being able to harvest them for calories. Right now. We haven't really been harvesting them for barbecue. We've just been expanding the numbers constantly. Soon though, soon we'll have those filled out and we can even have even more calories coming in. What are we at? 1.3 million fried mushrooms. Never mind. Oh, research, we also started that up again, but there's still a bit left to go and we've sort of drained all of our core water. All of this water we got out of the toilets, I just dumped it right back into more science. In fact, this one's going to be, that tank is going to be clean shortly because the, the germs are almost dead. We can dump that into even more science. We know we have Three, three cool steam vents to work with and one saltwater geyser. So I think we're going to start dumping all of our core water in here. We've also managed to get a bunch of oil out of that. We're going to be putting plastic on the menu next go. So it's plastic and steel next episode. Anyway, I think we'll cut it out there. We've got plenty done today. So uh, hope you enjoyed and uh, good luck.